and the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. Because just as in these translations of the Bible, in the hands of people who were not as informed at the time, doesn't make them bad people, right? But they were not as informed to the Greek and the Hebrew and the Aramaic. And so the translation that they used and came up with was flawed, right? Again, may or may not have been something sinister or evil about it. They just didn't have all the information. And then as we humans supposedly get more information, become better informed, we make better decisions and better uh, actions and have better, or, and I say better, not again, the value is subjective, right? But uh, our thoughts become clearer. We're not confused because we understand the distinctions or divisions, right? And we can see more clearly what the Word of God was saying by the people who wrote the Word of God, not King James. Amen? Not the Pope, not Buddha, not the Muslims, not the Islam, not the Indians, not the Pakistans, not the Chinese. Right? It would be it would be it would be silly, right? We would think it preposterous to use the French language or the Chinese language to dictate our actions. What we do, though, is we compare them, right? Just in our common interactions. People already know and say often, you'll hear people say, well, you know, in France they do thus and so. But, you know, in Georgia, right, they do something totally different. Wine is not consumed in the same way, right, in Europe as it may or may not be consumed. Cheese may not be eaten. You know what I'm saying? You understand what I'm saying, I hope. I hope that they've eliminated assumptions, right? And when we, as we've grown up, we learn that, you know what? The goat milk and the goat cheese is good. And the this and the that is good. The feta and the this and that, right? It's good. Not only is it good, it's good for you. But we weren't, we didn't once have that information. Right? So as we learn more, and we, of course, validate our source and understand the assumptions, right? Then we can, we can go from that making better decisions better choices and conducting ourselves in more improved right ways amen not that necessarily difference or divisions are wrong but whose hand i've always told my children and other people consider the source consider the source because clearly <laughs> the drug dealer is not the person that you want to get advice from regarding how much of a given drug you ought to take, right? I mean, we just know that just in common sense. Nor does it seem appropriate that we should go to a movie star or a, uh, you know, um, a carpenter. You're not downing carpenters. I enjoy carpentry. Not necessarily good at it, but I enjoy doing it. But you certainly don't go to a carpenter for advice about medical things that you should eat or take in your body, right? You don't go to a gymnast, <laughs> right, or a football player, unless they are also a medical doctor, about what things you ought to be eating and drinking. So it is quite honest, and, you know, really, again, very astonishing to me that we tend to look at the commercials and advertising think, oh, well, you know, if if uh, so-and-so said it or is taking it, well, then I ought to do it. Never once researching or going, you know, looking further, considering the source, right? And likewise, we must do that the same way with the Word of God. I would imagine that you would consider the source, me, right? If what I have been telling you and you have verified it, what I've been saying or teaching, you have verified it in the Word of God. This is why I use Scripture, so that you can determine for yourself, so you can pray and ask God to lead you and guide you. Is this really what you're saying, Lord? When you go to the authority, 
God the Father, then you can decide, okay, is is what uh, Joe Blow or, you know, basically biblical saying, is what they're saying true? Right? So I hope that this has cleared up uh, the ideas that I began enumerating, which was this concept, you know, that I was at fault with in, in regards to assumptions, this idea about foundational information and where uh, we should be drawing inferences from, right? Where should we, where should we be making uh, decisions and, and uh, controlling our thoughts from, considering the source. And if you don't go to the source, God the Father, then all other sources are immaterial. All other sources are flawed. God is perfect. All other sources are flawed. Now understand flawed. Now understand that God is the source of all our resources. Why? Because He was the creator of the universe and everything that is in it. He did not pervert what he created. Only Satan came along and perverted, destroyed, uh, demonized what God created. Even to the point of, and I've mentioned it before, sexual behaviors. Satan demonized all of those things. Because God said what's between a man and a woman, a husband and a wife, is appropriate. Satan came along and demonized it. Then demonized God created us to be sexual individuals, sexual beings, to have sexual relation. Why? Because he wanted to have procreation, right? Multiply. Be fruitful and multiply. Everything that God created does what? Create. If you notice that, everything that God created creates. Everything that Satan attempts to do destroys. Let me repeat that. Everything that God created creates. You ever wonder why you can walk through the woods and find a, wow, how'd that, how'd that daisy get there? How'd that, you know, how'd that beautiful flower get there in the middle of nowhere? You walk in the desert. How, how'd this Joshua tree get here? God created the sand. God created the desert. And lo and behold, the desert and the sand did what it was created to do and created that Joshua tree. God created the firmament, the earth, and the water, and the water and the earth create the environment of other things to be created in. Everything God created creates. Everything man created does not create. Everything that Satan uses destroys. So I ask you to think about these things. Use your critical thinking. Critical thinking, is that what it is? Use what God gave you. Wisdom. All throughout the book of Proverbs and Psalm, and in, and in fact the entire scriptures as we have them laid before us, and even the scriptures that other people say are not uh, sanctioned. You know, they're not sanctioned by the church. Well, the book of Enoch, there's even a book of Adam and Eve. The book there's a, a gospel of Timothy and the gospel of Thomas and all these other uh, extra biblical, right? All these other sources outside of the canonized or the acceptable books of the Bible give us other information. The book of Jasher, the Maccabees, or, or the Apocrypha, which is included in some Bibles, accepted by some church canons. But why, if, if one church canon accepted it, why is it a disdain to other church can, canons? Because of that division, that doubt, that destruction. Why are things, you know, somebody said one time, and I'm sure you've heard the phrase, if you don't want someone to know something, put it in a book. How come we don't think about that with regard to the Bible? If someone put, you know, some out of some sinister whatever notion 
Because there are a lot of people out there that don't believe the Bible, right? Oh, the Bible's not true, a bunch of myths, blah, 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 right? The atheists and whoever else, agnostics, right? Satanists. And even they will use scripture. All those groups will use scripture all the time, right? One of the ones they like to use, right, are, uh, do you want to judge us? You should have them doing you. Don't judge. You know, they, they pick those scriptures to use. Where did they get them from? They pick those scriptures to use, and they'll use them against Christians or use them against you to their convenience, which happens in society about all kinds of stuff, right? All kinds of information can be used for a certain person or group or company or, uh, you know, convenience to make more money, to control people, etc., etc. But if you don't consider the source, if you don't research the source, then you will never know. If you get new information and you research it and verify it and you find it to be truth, but you reject it, well, where does that get you? And if you don't consider it at all, then where does that get you? Right? In fact, if you've been going along with the world, it is totally uh, comprehensible that you would now be totally confused. Because at one time, the world described success in one way. Then somewhere along the way, they changed the rules and they described success another way. Then they came along and changed the rules and described and defined su uh, success another way. Well, it... <laughs> God forbid if you lived over those those different courses of changes, right? You would now either be, you know, depressed or confused, and maybe even feel demoralized and demeaned. And and you probably would feel duped. Right? Wait a minute, they told me for years. Eat apples. Then they told me no, the apples could be poisonous. Then they told me yes, eat apples. And then they told me no, the apples have red dye on them to make them look more appealing in the grocery stores. Then they told me yes, no, 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 that's okay, eat the apples. Then they told me no, no, the apples have wax on them and that could be, you know, harmful to you. In the meantime, they're putting petroleum products like plastic and other stuff in your baby formula. I recently re read that article. I even sent it to some, pe to some people. They're finding plastic. Plastic little plastic pebbles or little tiny things in baby formula. Why? Because things are made from petroleum. Plastic is made from petroleum. And there are even a great deal of medications that are made from petroleum. Distillates and bases. Have you researched all of those? Have you considered the source? You know, don't don't keep allowing these superficial divisions. And I say superficial because they're not based on anything. As Ecclesiastes says, all these vanity of vanities, vapor of vapors. Some people say illusions. But if you're not founded in the word of God the Father, the God and Father, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God who created the universe and all that is in it. If you don't have first his foundation, as the word of God says, knowledge is the beginning of wisdom. And where do we get that wisdom from? That's found in Proverbs. If you get that wisdom based on some fool, then you're bound to destruction. If you get that wisdom based on the Father who created everything, wouldn't he be the source that you want to go to to find out, well, Lord, how does the corn work? Well, Lord, how does the clouds work? Well, Lord, how do the how do the how does the ocean work? And the con the the, 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 the way that the ocean is constructed and all the vitamins and chemicals that are found in the natural pure ocean that's good for us. How does all that work? Well, why why not go to the source? Would you would you go? Would you would, would it be would it be logical to go to the uh to the to the sports figure to find out how your chair was made? The chair that you trust in holding your weight. Would you would you go to the sports figure? 
Or would you go to the person who created, made, developed the chair? And so it seems just so illogical to me. 